Well, my mother is a Smith. That gets me into a lot of interviews. <laughs> Robert Smith came to the United States in the late 1600s, and he settled in Topsfield. The world needs to understand that that little community just outside of Boston, about 15 miles or something, was really the uh, gathering place of preparing the prophet Joseph Smith. Back uh, a number of years ago, I was acting as a docent at the 1683 Parson Capon House, which is owned by the Topsfield Historical Society. And uh, while I was there, a bus pulled up and they said, we're interested in uh, Joseph Smith. But I did find out that the father of the prophet had been uh, born and raised in Topsfield. So the next time a bus pulled up and the bus unloaded, where it is Joseph Smith lived. Uh, and I told him, 22 Boardman Lane. But about 20 minutes later, they came back and said, there's no marker out there that shows where the father of the prophet lived. So I said, well, gee, we can put up a marker if, uh, if you can tell me who to talk to in, in, in the LDS in Salt Lake, you must have someone who uh, specializes in markers. And they did. Anytime you have a significant project that you want to undertake, it's going to take a team. It's going to be a collaborative effort. Um, when we had some of those initial meetings that we put together, um, it became pretty clear would, there'd be a path to success, I believe. And um, that, that collaboration and, and communication throughout the project, uh, making sure that the town was aware of, of the significance of it and the importance to the church, uh, but also the historical uh, elements that would be incorporated. Those are really important. Uh, and with this being a historical memorial and in the site that it's at, we wanted it to complement, but yet be impressive and stand out because it, it was it was obvious this was a, 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 going to be a focal point of the town history. I, I think the monument that that uh, was put in place, and then also the the rock, or the stone behind this meeting house, reflects the the undeniable historical bond and relationship between the Smith family and the community. One can only assume that this is where the formative motives were installed in them. And this is where they got their foundation um, to build on. I think this marker uh, points out the, uh, uh, the forerunner of the church and the, the caliber of the people who were involved uh, as, as the uh, ancestors of the present uh, organization. Yeah, this has been an 18-month odyssey, so it's so exciting to see it actually come together and, and be very real. The other thing I, I have to say is there's a monument there now, the, the, the monument from 1873 that George A. Smith dedicated and he made the comment that he had traveled to the Holy Land, he traveled throughout Europe, he'd been meeting with many distinguished individuals, but he said he never feels more at home than when he's right here on the sacred ground, you know, on, the, on the, uh, the grounds of his ancestors from at that point 300 years ago, now 400 years ago, that uh, we, we have an opportunity to recognize the, the Smith family and the legacy that they have left, not only for our church, but for the nation. It's a remarkable family line as it relates to church service and to dedication to the Lord Jesus Christ. I've read everything I can about them and I stand in awe of the absolute unwavering faith of that branch of the Smith family. I've always had an interest in history and uh, current president of the Historical Society in Topsfield. Uh, so I think uh, this marker kind of fits right on in. When you read the inscriptions on here, you get a pretty good impression of, uh, of the roles that the early Smiths played in this town's growth. One of the things that was really important, I think, would, from a design standpoint, was ensuring that what we did in this um, very um, historical cemetery uh, would still allow for the recognition of 
of the importance of the Smith family and, and what they did here in the community um, without overshadowing uh, the rest of what we see here. And I think from what I've seen uh, thus far, it was very tastefully done and done in a way that complements the rest of the, the surrounding area. You know, I, I've just really, truly come to, to love and appreciate the, the people of Topsfield. Um, just such good people who have, have uh, so much interest in, in what happens in Topsfield. To me, one of the great tributes to Joseph Smith Sr. and Lucy Mack Smith was when young Joseph said to his mother what had happened, she believed him. So I think that believing blood comes from Topsville back into England. And that line, as Brigham Young said, that the Smith family had been in the eye of the Creator from the foundations to the creation of the world.